Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this tutorial we will learn how we can create our own proxy server and uh, we do not uh, need our own server for that. We are going to make use of Google server and Google app engine. So what do we need for this tutorial? Well, we need one proxy script. The download link for the proxy script is in the description. We also need the Python 2.6.4 and make sure it is python 2.6.4 or it will not work and third we need another software that is the google app engine so how do we get these softwares first we will learn how we get python and google app engine for mac so for python you need to go to the link which i have given in the description below and uh, then download the mac installer disk image I've already installed it so I'm not going to download it again once you download it you will have something of this sort that is python 2 2.6.4 mac os x 10.3 dmg so just double click on this file and uh, open up python dot mpkg then click on continue again click on continue accept the li license agreement and then click on install type in the password once you type in the password python will start installing on your mac so it's just about to finish the installation you can see it gives us the pop-up sound and the installation was successful click on close close the window and eject python Now we need to install the Google App Engine. So go to the link in the description given below and uh, go to Google App Engine SDK for Python. When you click on it, you'll have all these platforms that is Windows, Mac OS X, Linux and other platforms. So we need it for Mac OS X. So just click on the package that is in the Mac OS X row. So this is the link Google App Engine Launcher 1.6.5 .dmg. I've already installed this uh, .dmg file. So once you download this file, just uh, double click and open up this file. And uh, when this file opens up, you'll have the Google App Engine Launcher .app. Now what you need to do is just drag and drop this application directly to the application folder of your Mac. So just drag it and drop it in the application folder. Now once you draw drag and drop it in the application folder, the file has been installed and just eject Google App Engine Launcher. Now just to verify whether the files were installed or not first let's verify whether python was installed you can see python is also installed in the application folder with python 2.6 as the folder name and google app engine is also installed over here so we have successfully installed the two softwares on mac now let's learn how we can install python and google app engine on Windows. Now we are on Windows and I am running Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit. So we want to learn how we can install Python and Google App Engine on Windows. So go to the same links in the description given below. When you go to the Python link, you will have the download section. In the download section, you will have two files that is one for the x86 and the other will be x86-64 now which file should a user install if you are running a 32-bit version of windows install the windows x86 msi installer and if you are running 64-bit then install the windows x86-64 msi installer once you install the file you'll have a exe file and it will be uh, something like this so just open that exe file, click on run and 
select install for all users if you want to and then keep it as c drive python 26 and click on next and python will start installing just need to wait for a minute or so and python will finish installing so you can see python has finished installing and what we need to do is just click on finish so once python finishes installing go to the google app engine link and when you go to the google app engine link you need to scroll down at the bottom and you will have google app engine sdk for python just click on that link and you will have the platform with windows written in that same row you will have google app engine 1.6.5 msi or whichever version it is just install that particular package for windows and once you install it you'll have something like this which will say google app engine dash the version number of google app engine so just double click on google app engine that exe file click on run and go through the same procedure for installation if you want to create a desktop shor shortcut you can definitely do that i don't want to create a desktop shortcut click on next click on install and google app engine will start installing on your windows machine again you need to wa wait for a minute or so and google app engine will finish installing okay so google app engine has finished the installation click on finish now that's how we install python and google app engine on windows machine now we will see the settings for google app engine on mac and then we will come back with windows now we need to set up the preferences of google app engine launcher on our mac so go to macintosh hd go to the applications folder and open up google app engine launcher which should be right over here somewhere just search for it and just open it up once you open it up go to the preferences menu of google app engine launcher and in that preferences menu in the python part path you need to type in back forward slash usr which basically means user and then again a forward slash local again a forward slash type in bin and again a forward slash type in python 2.6 and click enter press enter i mean then in the code editor section click on select go into the application folder of your macintosh hd and go to the bottom and select text edit dot app and when you do that click on enter i mean press enter click on the x mark and quit google app engine launcher now again open the google app engine launcher either through the spotlight or through the application folder now again go to the preferences menu and just make sure that the python path and the code editor is set now we have installed google app engine launcher and even python on windows machine open up google app engine launcher on your windows machine when you open up you will get an error or you could say a warning just click on ok that error comes because we have not done the settings for google app engine launcher so go to edit preferences and for the python part go to c drive python 26 and python.exe for the editor the location is usually c drive windows and notepad.exe you can even use wordpad if you want to but i'm going to use notepad and for the app engine sdk there are two location one i'll just show you the two locations so just go to select and click on c drive now if you are running a 64 bit version then the files will get uh, the app engine will get installed in program files x86 folder so just go to that particular program files folder go to google 
and go to Google App Engine. Click on OK. Now, if you are running a 32 bit engine machine, then it will be in C drive program files Google slash Google underscore app engine. So, once you have done these settings, click on OK and you are through with the Google App Engine launcher settings for Windows. Now, we need to go to the appengine.google.com to set up our application. So, just go to that link and when you go to that link you need to accept these terms and once you accept these terms you will have to actually verify your identity and it will ask you to put your mobile number and verify your identity i have already verified my identity and that's why it's not asking me for that thing so once you verify your identity click on create application now you need to create a unique application identifier now by the way by unique i mean it should be available that's why it should be unique and the name should also be good because this will this will be the name that will act as the prefix for our domain uh, suppose if i type in tech barrack proxy server then my domain name of my application will be tech barrack proxy server.appspot.com so you need to make sure that the name is good and unique. So I'm going to type in tech barrack dash proxy dash server. And let me check for the availability and the link, the application identifier is available. You need to give a name to your application. So I'm just going to type in tech barrack solutions proxy server. My name is quite big. So uh, let me make it tech barrack proxy server so once you have the application title ready click on create application and when you click on create application you will have this thing which will say that the application registered successfully now what you need to do is copy this uh, identifier name that is tech barrack dash proxy dash server just copy it and now go to your Google App Engine Launcher. Now I'm going to work on Mac. We will talk about the Windows part after this. Now let's uh, work on the Mac part. Now once we have created our unique application name on Google App Engine. Go to your Google App Engine Launcher on your Mac. Now this procedure that I'm showing is the final procedure and the final step to creating your application on Google App Engine but this procedure that I'm going to show is going to work on Mac and after the Mac procedure we will talk about the Windows procedure so on your Mac go to Google App Engine Launcher then click on file click on add existing application click on browse and select the proxy folder on your laptop now once you select the proxy folder click on choose now these pro this proxy folder can be downloaded by you from the uh, link in the description below just add this proxy folder and when you add it you can see that it shows an app id now click on edit and instead of the app id type in your unique application name that is going to be tech barrack dash proxy dash server in my case and then click on file and then click on save a version once you have done that it should reflect in the google app engine launcher now select this application uh, unique application thing and go to google app engine launcher menu click on make sim links and click on ok type in your password of your mac and again click on OK. Now what you need to do is click on deploy once you have done that. Now in deploy you need to type in your Google account ID and password. And uh, one quick tip for Google account users having two step verification uh, turned on in their account. If you have turned on to a two step verification then make sure you use a application specific password. Otherwise this uh, would not work. So just type in your email and password and click on sign in. When you click on sign in, the console will start and it will start 
updating our application and uploading it to the Google App Engine server. Okay, so finally the application has successfully been uploaded to the Google App Engine server and what we need to do is go to our browser and in our browser open up the link that is techbarrack proxyserver.appspot.com or whatever your link is and you can see the server is created and let's try a website that is what is my ip.com and when I do that it shows me a different IP and you can see it's showing me a IP which is of Google this IP is a Google uh, IP and it's not my IP now we are going to do the final step on the Windows machine and once again it is very simple go into your Google App Engine launcher go to file click on add existing application click on browse and go to your desktop or wherever you have stored the proxy folder just go to that location select the proxy folder and click on add and uh, once again we need to just edit the app ID name that is going to be our unique application ID name so once you do that just go to file click on save click on the X mark and when you do that click on deploy and in deploy type in your email ID and type in the password once you type in the password click on OK and it will start uploading the application to the Google server so you just need to wait okay so the application has been successfully uploaded to the Google App Engine server now we just need to go to our internet browser and go to that particular link so it is working guys I hope you like this tutorial please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrick.com